touring's a huge part of your life. Crowds, yeah. laughter. When are you going to get back to it? Is it starting <laughs> to open up now, right? Are you, you going to get do some uh, indoor shows soon? Yes. Uh, actually, the Comedy Store is open now, limited capacity. And I have to tell you, after a year of doing shows outside and dealing with everything from mosquitoes to helicopters to doing shows near like highways and stuff to actually be inside and there's no distraction. I went on stage, I felt like I was on steroids. It was so, it was so easy. Like I built back up my hell room muscles that I used to have when, when you first start out as a comedian, you basically do stand up wherever they would let you. Like I went to a long time ago, me and this buddy of mine, Rick D'Elia did a show at the, uh, the Fisherman's Feast in the North End in, uh, in, in Boston. And we uh -huh. were so excited that Nick's Comedy Stop called us, like one of the main clubs. And we were like, oh my God, we're in, we're in. And it was like an afternoon gig. You were standing in the streets after like this a band playing like, Volare, whoa. <laughs> and all these Italian women like hanging out the windows. Like I felt like I was in like the Pope of Greenwich Village or something. And we had to go on up after that and just absolutely just Bomb. Like that's like the whole first eight years of your career is like every third gig is as bad as that. So after you make it and you start selling tickets, you actually get worse. You, you're not as good because people, you, it, rather than having to get them, they're theirs, they're like yours to lose. Yep. And I kind of built that stuff back up again. So I don't know how long that'll last, but. Um, I feel like it's going to be an, ex first of all, like a renaissance. I mean, I, I could be. I know it's not in either of our nature to be optimistic, but I keep thinking people have been, so many performers have been put on ice for so long yeah. that there's all this pent up frustration, observations, anger, and it's all gonna come out in the arts in some great way. Yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna be a, uh, a positive thing. I don't know. I just wish they'd get rid of CNN and Fox News and the ability to leave a comment on the internet. And I think if they just did that, everybody would kind of relax a little bit more. And there could be more sort of, uh, you know, you're on this side of it, I'm on that side, and sort of give each other shit and then enjoy, enjoy each other's points more so than, uh, you know, all the capital letters <laughs> that people type in and shit. Yeah. Um, because I am all over the map, though, I get shit like during, uh, I get shit that I'm a Trumpster, I get shit that I'm a socialist. I mean, it's literally, all over the map. But you make both sides angry. I guess that's what I do. I never looked at it that way. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. All right. No one's happy when you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going to be my wife's new ringtone. <laughs> that's going to be her new ringtone. All right. Uh, you can see Bill in theaters across the country this summer and fall on Big Burr. Sorry. <laughs> on what? <laughs> You can Big see Burr. Bill. You can see Bill in theaters across the country this summer and fall on Bill Burr the tour. When I later have a degenerative disease, they'll say that was when they knew that. Oh, but I, I mispronounced that. Right? Do you get there. worried that it's already coming on. I do. Sometimes. I do too. Yeah. I, I Whenever I mispronounce something, I think, oh, that's when it begins. This is now. Now I is when it starts. I see movies, and I, like a week later, I can't remember what happened. It's kind of cool because I can watch them again. Like it's the <laughs> first. <laughs> but like, I can't. I've always wanted a place that will give me an operation that destroys the part of my brain that's seen Godfather 1 and 2 so I can see it again, for them again for the first time. Yeah, that'd be cool. Come back again. <laughs> what if you had, uh, sorry, did I not give you the reaction you wanted? No, you looked horrified, which is appropriate. Can you imagine if I had a big scar right here and I was running a fever all the time and you said, what happened? I went, I had the part of my brain that I've seen Godfather 1 and 2 destroyed, but it also attaches to my, my speech center. Well, no, I, when, I, when my brain went, it was like, well, there's drugs you can take that will destroy that part of your brain and everything right. becomes new again. But I don't know if you under, even understand the context of it. I've been watching a bunch of, uh, and listening to a bunch of movie, uh, music from the 70s and movies from the 70s, just simply because that's when I was a kid and I feel like that's before uh, whatever the f happened to me happened to me. And, uh, and so I go back there, not like that was the greatest time, but I came over, <laughs> <laughs> I came over listening to the Dirty Harry soundtrack. Yeah. It's wild. You feel like you're gonna go solve a case. There's some, <laughs> then there's this weird woman's voice going like, whoa. <laughs> like this weird sort of drugged out way thing. I know exactly that. I know that. I know that soundtrack well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I. I uh, by the way, one of the most uh, fun things 
I've done uh, just, you know, in the last couple of years was you called me up when you were playing the forum and yeah. you said, come on down, I have a drum kit and I'm with some musicians and you, I'm, before I do my show at the forum, we get to screw around oh, in this man, amazing so space. So I came down you said, bring your guitar, and we had a blast. You're a great drummer. It was really fun. Oh, th uh, yeah, thank you. That was I'm, great. That I'm was good really for fun. I a comedian, but I, I uh, yeah, we had uh, Dean Del Rey, Michael Devon. I'm trying to remember the people. We had a mix of comedians, yeah. failed musician comedians, yeah, and yeah. then like real deal uh, guys like Michael plays uh, with everybody, played in like White Snake and all that stuff yeah. before all this crap happened. He could play everything. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, yeah. So there's a clip. I wish I could, if I could find it on one of my phones. We did uh, Van Halen, Ain't Talking About Love, and there was some guy who had like the Van Halen like tribute guitar, and he, you know, was crushing the solo. You came down. What'd you play? Van Morrison? It was such a great time. I think I played Van Morrison, yeah. We ended yeah. up playing for like almost, it felt like three hours, and yeah. I had such a good time. And then when I stood up, I had no energy left, and I was like, oh my God, did I just blow it? You got to do the, a yeah, show at the forum. Yeah, now I have forum. to do the show. But fortunately, the, the fear of screwing that up becomes like adrenaline. Yes. And I was able to go out there. Um, and uh, yeah, I forget what that sounds like, even having like a crowd. So. Right. We'll would, get back to it. Yeah, hopefully. We'll get back to it. Yeah. All right, let me make sure I uh, get this. All right, you can see Bill in theaters across the country this summer and fall on Bill Burr, the tour uh, for full tour dates. Visit BillBurr.com. And The Mandalorian, of course, available on Disney+. Plus. Massive conglomerate. No one here is getting that money. Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Thank you.